Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing out there? I was going to play some baseball on Rulo's Road to show her we go. Oh, look, there's a dome stadium here in Tampa. Freaking Bay, baby. All right, uh, RIP to the Rays, and RIP to that ball that is rocketed down the line, and he's not going to get there for a minute. That might be an inside the parker. Should I go for it? Do you dare me? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but, yes, RIP to the Rays. They, uh, at the time of recording this, have been eliminated by the Red Sox. Um, apparently a little bit of a controversial uh, series. Um, yesterday, at the time that I'm recording this, there was that weird ground rule double call, which I get. That made It kind of made sense. It went, like, off the wall, off the guy, then over. Off of uh, Renfro, uh, Mike Trout light. <laughs> it looks exactly like Mike Trout, but isn't as good. But also, I think, probably has maybe even a better arm than Mike Trout. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, so that's a thing that happened. Um, I didn't watch any of it, but um, this guy that makes deliveries at my work, he's a gigantic Dodger fan. Giant, he's a baseball fan in general. So I talk baseball with him all the time, and he was like, did you see what happened? And I'm like, no. Uh, and he's like, he's like, yeah, there was like a play in the blah, 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 as I rope a double um, halfway to the cycle. I got the, basically the the hard parts of the, the cycle out of the way. I just need a single, although I'm not really much of a single guy. Uh, I'm married, and also I have so much power. I just hit dingers, extra base hits all the time, and saw that one coming. Booped me. He booped me right on the helmet. Did you see him boot me like that? What a booping booper. All right, here we go. Okay, come on. All right, I'm going to steal. I'm going to steal right here. I'm going to get my little bit of a lead. He's looking back at me like a loser would. And that is through. And that is why you do that. Let's go. <laughs> all right, we are all tied up now. We are all tied up. Oh, oh, my goodness. Four to two now. Okay, okay. Let's go. Joe Gatto. Hey, Joe Gatto, what you doing there, buddy? Oh, I almost tried to do a belch bomb there. Let me see if I can do one right here. Hold on. Let me get a belch. Let me get a belch. I feel one coming. Oh, uh. it wasn't a belch bomb, but that is a belch fly out. Okay. Uh, but like I was saying, yeah, this guy that makes deliveries at my job, he was like, did you see it? And I looked it up, and I was like, oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. It sucks that the uh, runner got held up at third or whatever who wasn't actually allowed to score, which is kind of dumb. Kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, and also, I think tonight, the night that the Red Sox moved on to the championship series, which is just the idea of an Astros-Red Sox championship series, I hate, hate, hate all of it. Um, I want nothing to do with any of those cheating teams. Okay, hey, look at that. Look at that. Who needs a homer for the cycle? This guy. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to steal another base over here. Come on, come on. Look at that base over there. Just begging me to, hey, hey, steal me, please. And there he goes. I'm in there. All right. All right. Um, but, yes, the Rays are out of it, um, unfortunately. I was gonna, They were going to be my <laughs> AL squad that I was going to root for now. I pretty much have to root for uh, Chicago. Um, anything else is just like rooting for Satan to um, jab you with a hot poker directly in the eyeballs um, until your eyeballs no longer work, you know? Which I feel like wouldn't take that much, but there you go, Steve Nunez. That's why I bat in front of that guy because he just, he just custoshes him. And I'm not going to get another AB. Oh, well. Uh, I was a homer short of the cycle. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, got booped on the helmet by the second baseman. If you remember that from earlier, that was annoying. Okay, okay, it's three-game series here in uh, in Tampa Bay. Um, I'm also kind of bummed that Nelson Cruz um, isn't going to get to uh, go back to the World Series. Uh, I thought I was really rooting for him. That would have been cool if he had finally gotten a ring. Um, he could have had a ring. He was too... He was a strike away from getting a ring twice in 2011, and then David Freese happened. If you guys are Cardinals fans, you know what I'm talking about. If you're big baseball fans, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know how many of you, honestly, were even alive in 2011 because 
Uh, that was 10 years ago, which is insanity to me. Uh, yeah, 2011, that was, tw that was 10 years ago. I was in college. That's nuts. Wow. Wow. Some of you w literally were, like, born in, like, 2010 or, like, 2012 when I graduated college in 2012, dude. What the H, bro? Anyways, uh, let's get this dinger that I've been so hoping to get. Carry, carry. Ah, okay, okay, that's fine. Mike Clevenger. I can see him as a Ray. I can kind of see him as a Ray. He reminds me of what's his name? Um, the guy that got injured uh, earlier this year after the sticky stuff got banned. Uh, why can't I? Glass now. Glass now. Tyler Glass. Glass now or Glasgow? Glasgow. Why can't I remember his name? I think it's Glass now. I don't remember. Guys, I'm dumb, and I can't remember names sometimes. My memory um, is turning into mush. Um, okay, but you know what? That's fine. That's just fine. This game is actually going pretty quick. It's 5-2 to two here in the seventh, and is he going to try and tag up? No, he better not. He better not do that. That was a one-and-a-half hopper to third base. Okay, I got that kind of power. I got that kind of scrimp in my arm. All right, Will Crow. Wow, who's this guy think he is? Will Myers, just one L. Oh, wow, he leaped over it. He's a leaping lizard over there. I wonder how close that was to hitting him, actually, though. Let's see. Let's see how close it was for him. Come on, here we go. Uh, previous play, yes. Check this out. I almost, almost got him. And leap. Oh, yeah, leaping. He's a leaping lizard. Oh, yeah. Jump ball. Jump ball right there. I think that might be a thumbnail, folks. You saw it right here first. Kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like Mitch Hanniger a little bit. I don't know. Whatever. Anywho. Anywho, back to the game. <laughs> I'm on second base, and I'm ready to steal. I'm so almost got me, and he's going to boot me on the helmet again. Hate that. Hate being booped. I am not a fan of the boopage. Okay, here, ooh, really, really late jump, and I got to go back, go back. Oh, infield fly, he's automatically out, and okay, okay. Um, definitely call that um, right away, and not when I'm standing on third base, you know. J.P. Crawford, um, Kyle Seeger leaves, and if we trade Mitch Hanniger, J.P. Crawford is going to become my new favorite Mariner. Um, I can't really tell you why. Other than the fact that he just uh, he just he gets super hyped up, um, he's a local guy. He's from Long Beach, California. I'm not really a giant fan of Long Beach in general, but it's just cool that he was from like around here. Um, and he said hey to me after um, game 161 that the Mariners won um, in Seattle when I was there recently. And he said hi to me, and I was like, yeah. I, well, I said hi to him. He wasn't like, are you Andy from Dodger Films? <laughs> I mean, that kind of would have been, like, weird, but slash cool. Um, and it would have been weird slash, what is that angle? What was that? What was that angle? That was weird. Okay, never seen that happen in my life. Uh, but here we go. Sam Williams. Ah, uh, oh. That's gone. Get out of my house, bro. Yeah. And a fan made up. I think I made a catch out there, too. I think it bounced up to him. Nice! How far did it go? How far did it go, George? How far did it go? I'm going to say three, four, five. Blah, 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 blah. I'm, I was honestly going to say like 4.30. I was going to say it. Look at that. The ricochet and the fan got it right there. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. We are killing it. We got like 30 plus wins right now. The Rays have like, they're like nine and some garbage. The Rays are not good in this alternate reality here. All right. So, uh, yeah, they're just going to let the 2024 Mariners run all over the ace. All right. Here we go. Let's get this sweep. Get out your brooms, folks. Get them out. Hold them up high where we can see them. And uh, we're starting with a runner on second here in the first inning. Um, that's uh, awesome because I'm going to do that. Oh, it's I got under it too much. He's ready for it. I'm still running. Dang. I was rounding second by the time that thing came down. I'm so fast. And also, I hit it really high. It's actually, I don't know how, uh, what the height is, but uh, here at the Trop, 
But the uh, the rings or whatever. Nelson Cruz had a home run off one of the rings. That's so amazing to me. Um, it's also I just I love quirks like that in a stadium where things like the rings, the catwalk rings or whatever up in the roof are like actually like in play and there's different rules for uh, depending on which ring it is. Like I just like that. That's the ground rules, you know? Um, and that's actually like what like a ground rule double actually means. Like um, and when a ball just bounces over like the wall off the warning track, that's just, that's honest, that's really just called an automatic double. Um, people call it a ground rule double all the time. But really, it is an automatic double. A ground rule double is like if it gets stuck in the pads or if it hits off one of the rings, whatever. It's the rules of the field, the ground rules, the rules of the grounds of the stadium. Okay, okay. I thought he got a hit there, but apparently not. Uh, so, yeah, that's the difference between a ground rule double and an automatic double. It's just kind of like how it happens. Um, okay, I'm going to advance. I'm there. There we go. No double play for them. I'm on second base. Uh, Michael Chavis, Chavis is going to go ahead and, oh, why did I go? Why did I go? That was a bad idea. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> Woo! high throw, high throw. Super, super late jump. Okay. Yo, all right. Oh, okay. Who is this? Okay, it's still Michael Chavis. I see number 23, and I see a right-handed batter. I automatically think of Ty France who is also one of my favorite Mariners. I just love the Mariners. You know, guys, I know that the season is over for them and uh, basically nothing really matters in the postseason to me. Um, I mean, who am I going to root for on the, in, the, in the NL? Who else is in it? It's the Brewers and who are the Brewers playing? Why can't I think of who the Brewers are playing? Uh, who are the Brewers playing right now? Brewers, they are playing Braves. They're playing the Braves. I guess I'd root for the Braves and the Brewers, whoever wins that one. I mean, L.A., obviously, I want to them to lose more than anybody. Um, San Francisco, they're not much better, <laughs> honestly. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I guess we got the Brewers or the, um, or the Braves. And then I guess the White Sox. I have to root for the White Sox in the AL if – if they're either of the uh, other teams that I said I didn't. So if it's San Francisco or L.A., I definitely want. Oh, man, this is going to be hard. If it's Boston and L.A. again, boring. If it's Boston and the Astros or if it's the Astros versus L.A., I mean, that could get pretty chippy. <laughs> and if the Astros win, I'm going to be so mad. I I hate the Astros so much. I, I'm not I mean, like, I'm not a fan of. The oh, is he safe? Oh, JP, you gotta leg that one out, dude. Um, what, what was I saying? Uh, 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 yeah. Even though that the Angels like didn't just roll over, and they actually like try were a bunch of tryhards um, when the Mariners were trying to make a postseason push, you know. Um, uh, even that didn't squash my hatred. At no point did the angel, my hatred for the Angels overlap my hatred for the Astros at, at any point. And I don't think it ever will, honestly. Unless they, unless I find out that the Angels have some sort of cheating scam going on. Um, I feel like maybe I would have, like, noticed something, you know, because I'm, like, a really observant player. And I've been to 69 consecutive Mariners at Angels games. So I feel like I would have noticed something within that time span, you know. Um... And if they are cheating, they're not cheating very well. That, it, it's not really working to their advantage because they aren't winning much more than the Mariners are. All right, 2014. I remember the, the year that I – the first full baseball season, my first year in California because I moved here in seven, at the end of the baseball season. No, they – I wasn't even looking at the score. But, okay, we'll take the L. We'll give them their 10th win of the season and I will see you guys in the next Rulo's Road to the Show game. Bye-bye.